guys welcome to my channel mindful convo in the previous videos we had discussed about the various topics regarding the variables in the ui path rpa and the flow chart sequences etc now we will be going to discuss about the screen scraping methods in rpa so as we know that the screen scraping wizard is used to extract data from the specified ui element the methods that can be changed from the scraping method drop down we can select either the native full text or the ocr method so now we will be going to discuss about the three screen scraping methods that is full text ocr and native so we will see the practical implementation one by one first of all what do we mean by the full text as the name suggests that the full text is used to extract the text from the ui elements and it is the by default method and the fastest method it does not capture the position of the text it works in background and extracts the hidden text too so now we will come on the ui path and we will be going to make the practical implementation of the snipping tool so we have the sequence here this is the whole panel design panel and from here we need to click on this screen scraping wizard when we click on this we will get the hand tool from which we can get the screen scraping wizard now in this we can see that it has extract the text that is new mode delay and options okay so we have a native and in order to select the full text now we need to change the full text from this the scraping method drop down so when we select the full text and click the refresh button then it will show us the scrape result preview okay in which it has take taken all of the elements that are hidden too so uh, if we see then it has also taken the system restore move size which we can't see here but these are the hidden elements at if i will click on the ignore hidden and click refresh again then it will only tells us about the elements that are shown here like new mode delay cancel options select the snip and help it has taken from here and then the text and try snip and sketch now we will be going to discuss about the native method so it extracts the text position as well as the formatting it is basically compatible with the applications that are made up of graphic design interface it is slower than full text and does not work in the background so if i will select the native method what does it will show to us that the native method will only take the new mode delay and options since cancel is the disabled part so it will not take this whereas the full text method has also taken the cancel too now if i will not if i will click on get word info and then click the refresh then it will also take the screen coordinates with each word okay we can see here clearly now we will be going to the ocr method ocr it works with a virtual environment basically it also reads text from the images it is slower method and cannot extract the hidden text and it has two parts tesseract ocr and microsoft ocr the tesseract ocr it extracts the string and info from the ui element or image using the tesseract ocr engine while the microsoft ocr 
it extracts the text and its info from the image by using either the Microsoft engine if there is Windows 10 or the MODI engine if there is not Windows 10 by default. So when we will change the OCR then we will and refresh in the Microsoft OCR method what we will be seeing. It will take some time because it's a slower method. See, it will also extract this snipping tool, this text from the snipping tool that is the image. So the new mode, delay, cancel and options and it will also take all the text from the image too. And if I will click on the get words info, then it will also take the coordinates of each and every button. Okay. Then it will also take the coordinates of the screen for each word or either button. Now, when we will change the method of Microsoft OCR to the Tesseract OCR, then what does we see? See, it will take the other things too, like snipping tool, axe, new mode and all these things. So now when we will click on the get words info and click the refresh button, now it will again gives us the screen coordinates with the each word. See, it will gives us the coordinate with the each word. And if I will click on invert, then let's see what it will do. It will also, it will basically change and it will gives us the each and every single spatial character like curly brace dot and slash other things also. So that's it for the today. As we have seen the difference between the three methods from the practical implementation of the snipping tool. Now in the further videos we will be going to discuss about the output actions. So guys please don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and in case of any query do comment me in the comment box. Goodbye.